The most basic of the types of numbers are the natural numbers. Also known as the counting numbers, this set includes the common numbers we use for counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Natural numbers are always positive and do not include zero or any fractions or decimals. Examples of natural numbers include 27 and 154. The integers include all natural numbers as well as zero and the negative version of all natural numbers. The word integer is Latin and translates to complete or whole, meaning the numbers in this set do not include a fractional or decimal part. Negative 19 is an example of an integer, as well as negative 154, negative 133, and all natural numbers, including 27 and 154. The integers and natural numbers are both subsets of rational numbers. The mathematical definition for the set of rational numbers is all numbers that can be written as a ratio of integers. Basically, this means any number that can be expressed as a fraction is a rational number. All natural numbers and integers are rational because they can be expressed as fractions. For example, 27, a natural number, is 27 over 1. Negative 33, an integer, is negative 33 over 1. Other examples of rational numbers include fractions such as 4 ninths or negative 15 over 101. Decimals that terminate are also rational numbers. 3.75 is a rational number. This could be expressed as a fraction, 375 over 100. Additionally, all repeating decimals are rational numbers. 0 0.3 repeating is a rational number. As a fraction, this would be one third. Simply put, the irrational numbers are the rest of the real numbers that are not rational. The irrational numbers cannot be written as fractions, having integers in the numerator and denominator. Pi is irrational because when expressed as a decimal, it never terminates or repeats. The value of pi begins 3.14159, but the decimal never ends. Pi cannot be represented exactly as a fraction where the numerator and denominator are integers. Perhaps the most common irrational numbers are positive square roots that cannot be simplified, like the square root of 2. Like pi, it cannot be expressed as a fraction of integers, and its decimal approximation never terminates or repeats. Together, the set of all rational numbers and all irrational numbers make up the real numbers. All real numbers are either rational or irrational, but no number can be both. Another way to think of real numbers is that they are all numbers that can be represented on a number line. Imaginary numbers are a completely separate set. These are numbers that include a factor of the square root of negative 1. The square root of a negative number is not real. Imaginary numbers do not have a value that can be represented on a number line. The square root of negative 7 is an example of an imaginary number. Mathematicians use a lowercase italicized i to represent the square root of negative 1. i is the basic imaginary unit. Imaginary numbers are commonly written with a factor of i, like 4i times the square root of 3. Finally, the set of numbers that includes all real numbers and all imaginary numbers are the complex numbers. The set of complex numbers can be described as the real numbers, the imaginary numbers, as well as any sum, difference, product, or quotient of the two. All numbers in this diagram could be described as complex numbers. Additionally, 5 plus 3i is an example of a number that would be classified as complex. As is the case in this example, complex numbers are commonly written as a sum where the first term is a real number and the second term is imaginary.